We're back with another AMK reaction. Today we're going to be checking out Freitaga Band, which is, is, is how I'm pronouncing it, from the Schlagsatten album. But before we do so, please surely leave a like on the video. Comment down below if you have any recommendations of what you'd like to see next. And hit the subscribe button. Help me hit my goal. 5K subscribers by the end of summer 2023 and the number one prime pusher on YouTube. Trying to get that KSI and Logan Paul sponsor. Let's jump right into it. I was told this view helps to prevent copyright strikes and claims. I doubt it though. Freitag Abend. I'm saying that wrong. Okay, so the, 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 the E isn't really pronounced much. Freitag Abend. Just, you, you Germans confuse me, man. You Germans confuse me with these pronunciations. Try that again, try that again. Freitag Abend. <laughs> This reminds me of Shrek for some reason. Is it reminding anybody else of that that other Shrek song? Like, then I saw her face. Da, 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 da. Now I'm a bully. Let me stop before I get copyright claimed. But it does remind me of that song. And also, I did my research. Freitag Abend means Friday evening. Friday evening. So it's going to be a really cheery, like, fun type vibe type song. Type, 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 type. Sie werden heute Nacht so oft auf die Familie schwören, irgendwo im Gewerbegebiet, da wo sich alle berauschen, fragen meine Freunde, Fremde, kannst du mir was verkaufen? Is it crazy? I didn't know they had these machines. I know they had the boxing ones where you punch them and it tells you your punching powers. I should have imagined that it had a kicking version, but I've never seen one in action. That's really cool. I would love to try one of those. Kannst du mir was verkaufen? This man looks like he is straining on those on those uh, those fly tag albums. Like he is destroying his vocal cords. And also, I wanted to say, I feel like I've reacted to almost every single song off of the Schlagshot and album at this point. It's got to be at least like eight or nine songs off of this damn album that I've reacted to. So we might work our way through the the whole album. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> what the f was that? What was that? We're not gonna call a pause on that. We're not. We're not gonna pause that. Come on, we gotta pause that, bro. What the hell was all that feeling? Feeling you were just doing? No, but in all honesty, this is a really, really fun song. And these are like the best days. Is when you're able to just like sort of play, have fun with your boys. Like he said, the name of the song, Friday evening. So it's, you know, if it'll be Friday, you're off of work, theoretically, if, if everybody has like a regular nine to five, some people don't, but it is what it is. And um, you get off of work, you feel me? Everybody's like ready to have fun and like go of the week and just have hella cool like times and memories specifically. Like look at what they're doing right here. They're at like, I don't want to call it an arcade. It's not an arcade, but like, you feel me? It's like probably like a mall area or maybe, maybe sort of like a Barnes and Nobles if you're from like CT and you know what that is. And the people don't even look like they know who these guys are. <laughs> what is that? Alter, gehen kuscheln im Kino. Und dann machen sie Fotos und trinken weißen Vino. Okay, so he definitely just said something about getting hammered. Because that's what this means. It's like, I'm about to take some shots. So I'm about to get some drinks or something. Familien bestellen Japanisch. Die Verdienste brauchen zu lang. Junge Frauen schminken sich. Und dann fängt Freitagabend an. That's what I always find really, really cool about these AMK music videos is they shoot these things in public and people either have no idea who they are or if they do, they just like sort of walk by in awe like, was that Henning Mays? Was that 
Severin Gantaret? Was that Christopher Annan just walking by me and having fun in public? It's kind of like the Sidemen videos where you where like the, the fans catch the Sidemen out in public. It's like, what the hell is going on? They look absolutely plastered, but and maybe somebody, I feel like someone answered this question that I had uh, maybe in, in a different comment on a different video, but why is there always four of them if it's just A, M, and K? I don't, I don't get that. There's always four or more people. Henning is definitely drunk. He has to be. If he's like this sober, he's like the funnest guy to be around on the planet. Look how chill everybody is. And he's like, nah, nah, nah. People need to hear me. <laughs> <laughs> like this is what it's about bro brotherhood is a different feeling i want to say it's di it's more different than any other feeling on the planet it's just having boys that you could trust do anything with like it's it's a completely different feeling <laughs> that's probably um kind of deviating from the topic a little bit but that's probably why all those like, you know, red pill ish channels or those like, you know, preaching wisdom to young guys channels always preach to have like a, a nice group of, you know, other similar minded men and whatnot to have in your life because it really helps to have a, a pair group like that. It's different than having a girlfriend, a significant other. It's different than having actual siblings because you're tied by blood, even though that is the strongest relationship you can have is, is a sibling relationship, brother to brother, strongest relationship you can have. But having similar minded young men around you who are like really, really close, have similar morals, you know, loyal to you and will you die for you, you die for each other. It's really important. That's why they preach it so hard, because it really allows you to like live your best life in a sense. And it's something that I wish I would have worked on a little bit more, I would say, um, you know, in the spirit of this song to have more nights out like that and stuff with the boys. I didn't really do that a lot because, you know, I wasn't really that much of an outgoing person like. I could mesh well with anybody. I had a really outgrowing personality, but the activities that I did were more like reclusive and inside. Like I'd rather hop on at, at the time when I was like, you know, my in my uh, mid to late teens, it was like I wanted to be inside. We could go out, but it, it would have to be just like a, a two, three of us type thing. I'm not going out with 10, 20 people. I didn't like that. Um, but I did have a really, really close group of just three of us, and we could literally talk about anything, we could do anything, whatever it was that we did, we had fun together. Really, really important. So if there are any young gentlemen watching this that, you know, wondering, you know, what, what's one of the vital things I, I'm missing from my life or something I don't have that would benefit me, I would definitely encourage you to build a strong community of like-minded men around your age or, you know, boys if you're a teenager still or, you know, growing, whatever it may be. And just have fun with them. Make sure that you guys are all loyal to each other. Y'all are paying respect to each other. Because then you can have a lot of fun Friday You can have a lot of fun Friday evenings together. And it, it's just cool to have, man. But if you enjoyed this, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Comment down below what you would like to see next. Hit the subscribe button. Help me be the number one prime pusher on YouTube in 2023, man. Forget about the month of August. In all of 2023, get me that Logan and KSI sponsor so I can keep pushing this content out for you guys on a daily basis. And till next time, till the next video, dreamers.